were provided to us by St. Vincent de Paul. The money raised at this event goes to the organization's assistance fund to help neighbors in the area. Now, that money goes to help paying rent and utility assistance. Now, you can still register for the event today. It starts at 7.30, and the run walk kicks off at 9. I talked with St. Vincent de Paul's executive director, Karen Zangle of the Northern Kentucky area, about how important this event is to the organization and the need for the assistance within the community. We do that um, thanks to an army of volunteers who are called Vincentians who do home visits uh, for people who reach out for assistance. And typically we're closing a gap for a family who may have been out of work for a while or maybe they just had to miss work because of sickness or some other uh, crisis that's come up within their family. And so these funds help us close that gap so that families can stay safe in their homes, avoid eviction, keep up with their bills and get back up on their feet so that they can continue to move forward. So the money raised here truly can be life-changing for some of these Northern Kentucky families. Now, Zengel tells me that the goal for this year's event was $40,000, and I'm happy to say that they've already raised $42,000, and they're hoping for a little more with some of those same-day registrations this morning. And again, there is still time for you to come out and register if you want to help support the community. For now, though, David, live in Crestview Hills, I'm Christian Hauser. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.